Hi guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to my channel and today we'll be decorating this two-tier tray and also a dough bowl for after Christmas decor. Uh, winter some people find find hard to decorate for uh, mainly because of the greenery. You just it's hard to know what kind of greenery to use but you know we're still in winter and even through Valentine's Day you know, Valentine's Day is still a winter holiday, so I just keep my evergreen out. Uh, I like these white pictures because they're a good contrast for just about any color. Now, here I'm choosing to use black, black and white with just a touch of brown. And so you're just going to put those items in where um, your colors are evenly distributed. Now, there's a lot of trial and error in this, and you'll be able to see that I I take things in and or put things in and take them out. And uh, I won't say that two tier trays are easy, but they're really rewarding because you're building a work of art, really. Um, but uh, I try to um, to keep my sides somewhat balanced if i put one color on one side then on on the bottom i want to kind of bring that color down um you see these little discs i use these to prop up my items and sometimes i have to put two uh, but uh they just prop things up nicely and they'll fit very easily into these two tear trays and as far as hiding them you just put a little sprig of greenery and you'll never even see it uh, usually what I do uh, with this tray is I just decorate the front of it and I push it up against the wall but where I'm going to put it this year you see I'm I'm redistributing that greenery because I had it a little heavy uh, but this year I'm putting it in a different area and so I, I kind of want the back. The back is going to somewhat show so I want to decorate the back. Also, um, you know, it, it, if you're going to use yours away from the wall, I want to be able to show you how to do that. Um, it's a little tricky because some of your back items are going to show from the front and vice versa. Uh, but there again you just kind of work trial and error with it and uh, until you have it the way you like it and like i said the main thing is making sure you have your items out of at a level that the ones from the back are going to show uh and evenly distributing those colors both of those are very important now here i decided that i wanted to turn my picture the other way and i'm turning it around to make sure that that's still going to look good from the main side uh, because that's the side that i want to show mostly or i'll have showing mostly so i definitely don't want to mess that up by something that i do on the back if these two tier trays kind of intimidate you then start with just a little riser uh, you can just take a even a little breadboard or a, or a little cutting board and put feet on it and make you a little little riser first and then when you get more comfortable with that move on to um, to a two tier tray now I'll be honest three tier trays uh, I can do them but I just don't know for me if they're worth the extra effort because you know there's just there's so much and I don't I like to keep my decor more simple anyway so I don't like I don't like the three tier trays for me I've seen them decorated really pretty but I I just don't care for them myself so you see here in the back I've, I've got to fill this whole area in so just a simple salt and pepper shaker here is enough to fill that in and once I get my greenery greenery around it around it it'll it'll be just enough see these are not very hard uh, when you think about it because we're not even five minutes in and I'm almost finished with this um, of course I did have my items ready ahead of time and I knew somewhat what I was going to do but even from start to finish it didn't take me that long to do this little tray now here I put a milk bottle to get that white on the other side and I love these little brown bottles um, 
I think that I love how they contrast the white uh, and I decorate with them a lot because in, in my home I do a lot of uh, primitive and cottage style. I have a touch of farmhouse but for me it's mostly cottage style. And I think these little brown bottles really work well for that and it's really as simple as that. Um, it didn't take long at all. Uh, just over five minutes and and this little two-tier tray is complete and as you can see all your colors are evenly distributed and that just kind of brings everything together and I, I love draping a little something around the uh, off the bottom I think that adds to the look also and if you don't have a two-tier tray they're so easy to make there's so many ideas on Pinterest on how to make them now I want to start with the dough bowl uh, any kind of dough bowl will work, uh, any size, any kind. Uh, start with a small one and work your way up to a larger. Now, they're a little tricky in that they're not flat on the bottom. So, as you can, you'll can, you see in this video, I've, I've struggled to get a flat bottom. Now, I go back later and, and put some sticky tape on the bottom of my items to keep them on the the little disc that I put them on because I really struggle to keep them from falling over and although this is going to be in an area where it's not going to get bothered um, I just I like to know that it that it'll stay here I have my little pitcher again I love my little ironstone pitchers um, I think they're my favorite of all my decor every time I see one whether it's real ironstone or not I, I always buy it um, because it, it just adds so much to a cottage style decor. And there's my little brown bottles again. Uh, I like to bring my colors kind of together throughout my house. Now at Christmas, uh, my kitchen's a little different color than, than the rest, but uh, otherwise I try to keep my house somewhat cohesive. And I put another little picture there, a little smaller picture, and see that there's my bottles falling over. And I struggle with that a lot in this, but um, but I'll fix that later. I just want to get this this styled for you. Now, because this is a shorter picture here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, of floral in it. It's uh, this is kind of a mossy green floral with just somewhat of a bloom. Um, it doesn't say spring to me, so it's okay to use it. It could, I guess, be used for fall, uh, but. It, it's working with these colors so um, I'm not going to put evergreen here because I'll be sticking some evergreen throughout the rest of the dough bowl. Now you can put anything in these dough bowls. Uh, I'm just trying to cre create some height. I don't really want candles in this one uh, so I'm just trying to put some height in mine but I mean you could really a dough bowl could just have some greenery in it and some little bowl fillers uh, and and that would be enough uh, some people might want to put fruit I, I don't care for it um, just put what goes with your decor in it I have an old farmhouse table um, in my dining area and uh, it never gets used so um, I'm just putting that this there uh, the clocks I love little antique clocks I don't even care if they work I've got them throughout my home I just I love the look of them so that was a chance for me to put some of my usual decor in this and that little um, little green clock I thought looked really cute now you don't have to put these doilies underneath this I feel like the doilies help it stand out more I love the old uh, dough bowls um, and this one is a replica um, but things don't show up in them very well so I like to put some something on the bottom to make it show up more another good idea for this uh, dough bowl to make your thing set up straighter is maybe put just a piece of board all across the bottom and then put your um, put your doily on it and then everything will st sit up and I may go back and do that um, instead of just the tape uh, but 
but right now I have just the tape on the bottom. And now you're just filling in with just little sprigs of uh, evergreen uh, or whatever uh, floral you want to use. Um, I just like to put little sprigs of the evergreen. I have it in my kitchen, so just carrying that look over onto my into my dining area. And just fill little sprigs in. I, I wouldn't do a whole pick anywhere. Just cut small pieces off and fill in to soften around the edges and, and to hide anything that you don't want showing. These are fun to create with your uh, two-tier tray and your dough bowl. Just put a bunch of small items together that are the colors that you want to be working with. And just spend some time playing with it and, and see what you can create. See what kind of look you like. And it's really not taking long at all to build the dough bowl either. Just over five minutes for each one. Now, this look is easy to transition over to uh, Valentine's Day. You can just leave everything just like it is. And I'll show you how... I just add a few hearts and um, and and it changes it over to Valentine's Day without going crazy with the Valentine decor. I don't really care for very much Valentine decor. I want to keep my decor neutral and uh, and I don't like to have to redecorate for such a short time period valentine's day is is here and gone and it's just to me it's not worth the extra decorating so just put you some hearts here's a little driftwood heart just throw you a couple little hearts in there or a few um i'm even gonna add some uh dollar tree hearts that um that I don't do anything to. This one I've covered with some uh, warm and natural fabric. And then this one is the driftwood. Uh, but there again, just play. Move your items around until you like the look. And again, distribute those colors. That helps a lot. And if you like red, red could definitely be added to this. Red would actually be pretty added to these colors. Uh, but I'm just going to use these and then this little Dollar Tree decor that I picked up today. There's four on there. It's just little, um, I think that these are made out of, um, I'm trying to think of what that would, Luan. Uh, and I don't do anything except cut a couple of those off. I don't paint them or anything. You could paint them white or red if you want. That but natural is good for me. Uh, and that's all there is to this, uh, this dough bowl. And when Valentine's Day is over, just pop those Valentines right back out. And it'll be fine until spring when you can redecorate it. I hope I've inspired you. And uh, let me know which of these in the comments that you like the best. Thank you for watching and have a great day.